in this bus fluids demonstration, the pipeline element will be discussed. This feature is demonstrated using the hammer model available in the bus fluids installation folder. The pipeline element is used to accurately calculate pressure drops through entire pipeline segments without the need to actually model the routing. Using the hammer model, we will investigate the capabilities of this software feature. Four different scenarios will be used. However, before the scenarios are created, the pipeline element is introduced. We insert this pipeline element between node 20 and dummy node 1000. In early design stages, the accurate routing of the pipeline network might be unknown or subject to change. Therefore, we insert a pipeline element which only considers the length and the number of bands in the piping system. For the pipeline element, the same input parameters as for a simple pipe element need to be specified. Two additional fields can be filled in, the pipeline length and the minor loss coefficient. In this case, the pipeline length is the distance between node 20 and 115. We can measure the distance using the measurement tool. The distance is filled in under pipe length. The display length of the element can be chosen arbitrarily and is independent of the actual pipeline length to be modeled by the element. The effect of different elevations on pressure levels can be accounted for. The number of bands between both nodes of the pipeline element needs to be filled in. In this case, there are eight bands. Now the second node of the element is set to 115. The minor loss coefficient or K factor is left empty in this case. There is no need to account for losses due to valves or other equipment in the pipeline system which is modeled by the pipeline element. Now the model is prepared for scenario creation. The first scenario is a copy of the main scenario. It will be used for steady state calculations. The pipeline element is set to none in the tab scenarios, subtab elements. The second scenario is a copy of this scenario and will be used for the transient simulation. The third is a copy of the main scenario. However, this time we will set all pipe elements between node 20 and node 115 to none. In this way, the pipeline element is the only connection between node 20 and 115. Again, this scenario will be used for steady state calculations. The last scenario is a copy of this scenario and will be used for the transient analysis. All four scenarios have been created. The analysis can now be run. We can use the function key F5 or simply go to tab run and press the run button. Since the main scenario is a dummy scenario for proper model setup, it doesn't need to be simulated. The main warnings in the run tab can be neglected in this case. The results can be viewed in the results tab. First, we will look at the pressure drop throughout the system for both steady state scenarios. We can see that the different configurations have been simulated. Under profile plot, we generate a plot from node 1 to 125. Switching between both steady state scenarios shows no difference in results. Looking at the transient results, a difference can be seen especially in the mid part of the curve. Here, the full model is simply more accurate in calculating the pressure levels. However, in the remaining regions, both models seem to be equally accurate. We will verify this by plotting the max pressure close to the valve at node 15 for both transient simulations. It can be seen that the short-term pressure peak is captured accurately 
even if only the pipeline element is used. The flow rate is also accurately calculated. Only for long time durations, the results deviate slightly for the full model results. In this demonstration, the pipeline element was introduced. This tool is particularly useful for pressure drop and mass flow calculations, being part of the initial sizing process of the system when routings have not been fixed yet. However, even transient calculations can be performed with outstanding accuracy enabling the user to predict pressure surges or water hammer problems early in the design process. You can view all the demonstrations of Boss Fluids features on the DRG YouTube channel. A demo version of Boss Fluids can be downloaded free of charge from the DRG website.